Gotham Collections with Brucey Wayne. Here we have a special weekly edition of the top 10 affordable books you should be getting right now, followed by books you may want to pick up this Wednesday on New Comic Book Day, or there could be books you just may want to avoid. So let's begin. We'll make it nice and quick for everyone. We'll start at number 10 this week. Didn't make this last time. And this is all new Wolverine number two. This is the first appearance of Gabby. I think uh, down the road, they're about to give up on this uh, Kumbaya version of, of X-23 and, and Gabby, and they might go back to basics, hopefully. Anyway, we're all crossing our fingers. Let's get rid of the kitty crap, please. For the love of God, this character was, was you know, brutally violent when she first started out. And, but anyway, that's, that's X-23. We're talking about Gabby here. So we would like to see a more mature version of of the uh, sister dynamic of the two of laura and gabby um one of my personal favorite characters can't go wrong with this cover absolutely beautiful so at number 10 here all new wolverine number two for gabby and um if you can s score one of these for a great price uh definitely get this one it's it's really hot and quite expensive and this is the variant cover to that at number nine this week, well, there was uh, just mentioned, I'm sure you all heard, that there's going to be some um, animated spider, basically the people who made the Spider-Verse movie are going to be doing some shows for Sony uh, based on Spider-Man. So you know what's going to happen there. There's going to be all kinds of um, juvenile characters that are um, going to be hot. Uh, it's going to be a cosplay explosion, no doubt, and these books are just going to go up. They're quite cheap right now. This is kind of a uh, Hail Mary attempt, really, because uh, we don't n really know what's going to happen yet. We haven't heard any any spoilers. This is Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number five, and this possibly has the uh, first appearance of Miles Morales' new girlfriend. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, anyway, it's, it's cover price everywhere you go, I'm sure, so grab it now. In at number eight, um, you may have seen her in the last movie or so and that is tales of suspense number seven first appearance of peggy carter they keep trying to push peggy carter she has quite a following uh it's just a matter of time before um she gets quite popular again and she has in exiles number three especially the variant cover it's a hot book uh but pricey now kind of out of reach for, for i would say but um, Tales of Suspense, number 77, if you can get this in good shape, please grab it. Uh, first appearance, Maggie Carter. All right, so the next book is in at number seven. It's not actually Black Panther number two, because I don't have number seven. It's the Marvel premiere, number 47, and that's the first appearance of um, the, the, uh, Scott Lang's daughter who becomes Stature. Uh, Stature is going to be uh, a sidekick, I believe, of um, or a colleague of uh, Kate Bishop, and she's already Stature is already becoming qu quite hot now. So it's it's a it's a great book. It's an undervalued book. Uh, you can probably you can get a you know a very high grade for one hundred and fifty dollars, um, and you know you have two first steps. You have the Ant Man, and then you have um, you know his daughter. So it's a great book to grab. And that brings us to this one, which is number six, and this is Black Panther number two, and of course this is the first appearance of Shuri. This is a very hard book to find, not a very large print run. Uh, we all know what's going on with Shuri. She's you know, being, she's quite a popular, and they're definitely pushing the character. Sky's the limit for Shuri, so grab it now while I still can. This is only around $50, $60. And in number five, uh, mainly because the, the cover is uh, becoming iconic, I guess you could say. And this is also the first appearance of Ramon, who's uh, Alloy. So this is kind of a hot book now kind of thing. But I believe the, the cover itself might uh, give it some value, uh, some strength, some hold, if you will, for, for down the road as well. So here we have Hawkeye number one. So it has a first appearance and a great cover. So there you go. And in at number five, this is Young Avengers. This is the convention specials. Uh, if you can grab it, definitely grab it over the regular uh, Young Avengers number one. And of course, this is the first appearance of Kate Bishop and some other cats like Iron Lad and, and, and some Patriot guy. And, and, you know, nobody really cares about the other characters. So anyway, Kate Bishop, this is the one to get. Get it now. It's only going to go up and up and up. This character is is going to be a hit for Disney and Marvel. 
All right, and in number three, we have uh, Addy, first appearance of Addy Brock in the Ad Edge of Spider Geddon, number two. And this follows along with my theory with the, uh, you know, the Spider-Verse shows being produced for Sony. Um, we, we, she has a, you know, a Venom Mech Warrior. You know she's going to be battling Penny Parker's uh, Spider Mech Warrior at some point. Uh, probably be an epic battle, yada, yada, yada. So it should be quite exciting. Um, this book is only about $10 right now, so definitely get it. Um, either I'm kind of, I don't know which, this is the variant cover. I don't really know which one's going to be, I can't really put a guess on which one is going to be hotter. Um, I kind of like the cover A better, but then this one's kind of cool too. So I, I don't know. Either or, if you can find them, grab them. And of course, that leads me to number two with Edge of Spider-Verse number five, and that's the first appearance of Penny Parker, who has the uh, the spider mech uh, warrior. So you know it's going to be in the show. It's just a matter of time. Grab it now while it's only like $20. So the number one book, and it was the uh, number one book last, uh, last week. So it hasn't changed anything. I still highly believe in this character. It is still somewhat of a Hail Mary attempt. We don't know if we'll ever see him again. It is a Batman character where, you know, it takes quite some time to uh, revisit the character sometimes in the books, um, which I think is smart myself. But in, in any case, this is Old Lady Harley, number five. This is the first appearance of Joker's son. The print run is fairly low. Uh, very hard book. It's hard to find book. Um, and you could probably get it for about 20 bucks. It is kind of creeping up in value but not by much so get it now while you still can i really believe in this i have a gut feeling i just think it's going to be a winner so that brings us to what's coming out this week on wednesday um so uh, the highlights include we'll we'll go through them through them all and this is uh, based on the research from various sites uh, including jim comics and uh, key collector app which i can not stress to you how great it is. I mean, it's, of course, it's not perfect, uh, and the values are, aren't real time, and and some most of the time not even close. But you know, you can't expect the pricing to go up and down every day. There's just no possible way they can keep track of every single comic book. But in any case, for a small team, I believe it's just one or two guys creating this app. It's unbelievable. It's 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 changed my my life. I mean, I collect first apps, so. Everywhere I go, I have a database now of, um, if, you know, I can't remember everything. So this this app has it right there whenever I need it. It's absolutely beautiful. If you don't have it already, and I'm sure you do, you have to get the app. You, it's free. It's amazing. And you, and you can get a subscription to it as well and get some other bonuses. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so based on a few of those um, sites and whatnot, uh, looks like Spawn, the latest from Spawn. Sorry, I'm going to have to pick on Spawn this week. He's going to get the poop badge. And this is, again, the list of, of what um, other sites are saying are going to be hot this week, or possibly hot anyway. And that is Spawn 296, and this is the first appearance of Mother Mary. Sorry, there hasn't been a hot uh, Spawn character since I can remember. Um, if I'm wrong, please let me know. Number 9, I suppose, was, was, you know, was kind of hot. But uh, other than that, um, sorry, I, I would stay away. Uh, here's a first uh, appearance of a Batman character, first laughing man, and this is in Batman Ninja Turtles. Um, personally, if I was going to get any one of these books I'm about to mention, this is probably the one I would get. So, um, although it doesn't excite me that much either, but um, you know, you might want to consider it. The Adventures of Super Sons number ten. Uh, this is a dandy, uh, first Doom's Dame. So. I'm assuming this could be a uh, first female uh, Doomsday character. Um, sorry, it doesn't uh, do nothing for me, so I'm going to have to give it the old poop badge. Uh, deceased, number one. A lot of beautiful covers. There's many beautiful covers, and that, that's kind of why I'm avoiding it. I'm a firm believer of stay away from things with too many covers, regardless of how great they are. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, we, we don't know if there's a first appearance yet, but... Um, Regardless, it's going to be many copies, so uh, sorry, not for me. Harley Quinn number 61 has been mentioned. It's the first appearance of the role-playing version of DC Villains. Now the cover looks interesting. Perhaps this, that would catch on fire just because of the cover, really. It's a little uh, risky, if you say. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, uh, you know, it's a... It's a gamble, that one, but it uh, might pay off. Uh, Justice League 23, they're saying it's the first appearance of future Olsen. If, if that's all it is, then uh, obviously that gets a poop badge. 
Uh, and then we have Han Solo, the Age of Rebellion, number one. And there's a first appearance of Akko in there. And uh, um, sorry, that's it's going to get a uh, nobody cares alert. Um, so yes, I'm, I'm you know pressing the button. We're getting nobody cares alert. Um, so that's the first one on the list. And then uh, lastly, but I'm sure it is quite amazing, we have Savage Avengers. Um, so it looks like they're trying to get uh, Conan into the Marvel Universe. Um, and um, We'll see what happens there, uh, uh, won't we? So there's your list. Hope you enjoy. Uh, please, uh, you know, those are just opinions based on spec value. So um, if you in enjoyed reading titles, please, you know, you know, that's all I'm talking about is spec value. I'm not trying to crap on the book itself. It's just for spec value. So... Um, Thank you again. Please like and subscribe and uh, please comment in the section below. All right. Bye-bye.